what's up everyone so today i'm going to show you how to create this very cool 3d unveiling surface with cinema 4d and some very simple technique so the first thing that we need to do is to create a displacement map so here i am in photoshop and i'm going to draw a a letters over this gray background So now let's convert these two layer into a smart object. Next step, let's give this a little bit blur. Uh, so I'm going to use Gaussian blur and let's set it to pixel. Um, so it's looking good. So I'm going to duplicate this layer to another one and select the second one and give it a little bit more blur. And let's do the same for the third layer and increase the blur intensity. So now we have something like this. So let's save this as a TIFF format. And let's move to Cinema 4D and create a plane. Alright, so let's give this more segments so it can be smoother. Now let's create a new material and turn on this displacement channels and we're going to load the displacement map that we just created. Alright, so now let's just drag this material to the plane. So there's nothing happened yet, so we need to create a displacer and move it right under this plane. So now let's go to shading and switch to displacement and now we can drag this material to this displacement and now you can see something's happening as you see that the A is starting to coming out of the surface so let's increase the height a little bit so we can see it clearer so now you can see that this is um, we're going to clearly see the A here but it's not as smooth as we wanted so let's create a subdivision surface and then drag everything underneath. So now you can see that it's smoother but it's still not like what we want it to be. So now let's create a node object and drag everything under this node object and then move the displacer right under the node object. So with this kind of uh, arrangement you can see that this come out so much better than we had before. Uh, it's still a little bit jacky, but um, we can totally fix it. So now let's go back to the displacement channel. And from the setting, you can see that there's a an option here. So let's switch it to SAT. Um, and then increase the blur offset. And now you can see that it's starting to look uh, much better. So let's maybe increase it a little bit more to 4. And here we go. So it looks so much smoother now. So you can try to increase the height uh, a little bit more to see that it's still working perfectly with different height. So after playing around with this um, setting, and this is what I uh, kind of happy with. So now I have a very simple lighting setup here uh, with the two colors so you can totally play around with different color combination. Uh, in case you don't know how to do this, uh, I have a template, Cinema Holdy template um, and there's a link under the description so you can download and try it. Alright, let's do some animation. So let's select the displacer and go to keyframe maybe 200 and set a keyframe to the height and then go back to keyframe 0 and set the value back to 0 and now we have a animation like this and because of the subdivision surface it's gonna make it really slow so let's turn this off to see the animation clearer so yeah this is how it goes very cool Alright, that's basically it. Uh, you can totally play around with the setting and the animation to come out with something on your own. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.